Josh Allen, Joe Burrow. The GOAT. Oh, Josh I was Allen. watching Players' Choice Gridiron the other night. Not our Brandon. There was a dude by the name of Brandon. He said <clears throat> some things that I thought was kind of crazy. He said that Josh Allen doesn't need Stephon Diggs in order to be top five, which I thought that was crazy. Um, Trent, we love Trent. He talks about how Joe Burrow's the most overrated quarterback in the playoffs. Champ, you brought up, you know, we've given Josh Allen the pass. Correct me if I'm wrong. We've given Josh Allen a pass because we continuously bring up the Kansas City game, the Buffalo-Kansas yes. City game in the divisional round, and that was a great playoff game. Unfortunately, Joe Burrow is out for the rest of the season because of a torn ligament on his right wrist. He suffered yesterday in the loss against the Baltimore Ravens. Josh Allen, on the other hand, since he's been in the league, since he was drafted, he's led the NFL in turnovers. He is a turnover machine. So, Champ, I'm going to let you go first. Which QB is more overrated, Allen or Burrow? Because Allen, there have been times he's been the preseason favorite to win the league MVP. And on top of that, he's on the cover of Madden. The Bills have been the favorites to come out of the AFC. Which one, man? Honestly, I can't say either is overrated, but if you're going to go that route, if, and that's a big if, you're going to go that route, then it has to be Josh Allen. You got to remember this right here. That NFC, that AFC championship game was supposed to be the, was supposed to be the thing that set it off. And I believe it's a lot of media favoritism towards Josh Allen as well because they finally want to see the Buffalo Bills, Bills Mafia win a Super Bowl or at least go to a Super Bowl, go back to a Super Bowl after those really, really bad years where you constantly saw them losing in the early 90s. I don't know if people are old enough to remember that, but after you see, after you saw them lose like four straight Super Bowls, not to mention they haven't had a real franchise quarterback since Jim Kelly and the closest thing they had after Jim Kelly was Doug Fluey. So I think the media is kind of falling in love with Josh Allen in order to because of those things, because of, you know, the historic bad luck. Excuse me, the historic bad luck of the Buffalo Bills. Now, I have to go Josh Allen because he's a turnover machine. And guess what? I don't think the coaching staff is doing a great job of kind of getting him under control the way that Mike Holmgren used to do with Brett Favre. If you remember correctly, Brett Favre had a very bad interception problem at his beginning of his career. But if you go back and look at his stats with Mike Holmgren, he was able to get him calmed down. And he was able to turn him into the three-time MVP. I don't think that coaching staff, because Sean McDermott is a defensive coach, I don't think he has done a great job in getting him really under control so he would stop being that gunslinger and stop making these inadequate, inaccurate decisions that he's making. So that's mm -hmm. one problem that you have to make. Hey, you look at what Joe Burrow has been doing. The reason why I choose Josh Allen to be the more overrated, like I said, if you're going to go that route. Hey, Joe Burrow last couple of years hasn't had a line. Now, we thought getting Zeus was going to help Orlando Brown. We thought getting Zeus was going to help, but it didn't. Mm -hmm. So you're virtually running for your life around, around there. You're not Your receivers are sometimes not able to get into their lane, so they have to come back to the ball and get the ball. So I have to go with Josh Allen, not just because of the turnovers, but because of the, because of the inaccuracies as well. I yeah. have to go with that because like I said, Hey, after the AFC championship, Joe Burke, not, excuse me, Josh Allen has not added anything to his resume since that time. The year and on after, top of that, they fired Ken Dorsey, the offensive coordinator. And not only yeah, and not only that, they don't have Brian Dable anymore. Right. So in order to act as a cushion, and you know, at the beginning of his career, he was running for his life. Now he's still running for his life, and he doesn't have to. He doesn't have to. You. Is that you gulping like that, Kenny? I, I, yeah. What the hell are you drink? Is you drinking water? It's water. Oh, oh. I, I, it looks like <laughs> a, a, a bottle of. A bottle of um, <laughs> But uh, I don't think Ken drinks like that. But, uh, <laughs> like that. <laughs> but go ahead. I'm sorry, Chad. But yeah, you mentioned okay. Josh Allen. Um, but yeah, I I agree with you, man. Josh Allen, 
he's the modern day Brett Favre. And he Gunstinger. doesn't have a Mike Holmgren. He doesn't have that Mike Holmgren. And he or, doesn't have that right now. He doesn't have that Mike Holmgren, that offensive staff that's going to get him under control. People don't even realize with Brett Favre at his peak, he had Mike Holmgren. He had Andy Reid, John Gruden, and Steve Mariucci on his coaching staff. That's a prime coaching staff to develop a quarterback. And not to mention, Mark Brunel was on that in that quarterback room as well. So and he left Green Bay and became a Pro Bowl. So yeah. coaching staff and having developmental and quarterback coaching does help when it comes to having these young quarterbacks. So they won't be out here swinging interceptions like it's no tomorrow. And I don't understand why the Buffalo Bills are not using James Cook, especially when you've seen him on his greatest game. He can get you hundred and he can get you one hundred fifty yards rushes. We saw him do it this year. We yeah. saw him do it this year. All right. I mean, but that's about all. P five. Oh. oh yeah. Um. Whenever I'm doing my again, I don't think either one of them are necessarily. Oh, whatever. I, I'll just say when I do my quarterback rankings, it's more based off of talent and your arm talent. How good are you in the pocket? Your general accuracy. It's not necessarily based off of performance necessarily. Because a lot of things go into how, how you perform as a quarterback. How good are your receivers, your offensive line, the play calling? How good is the defense that you're facing? And all stuff like that. What's the situation in the game? That can all affect your performance as a quarterback, which I think people look at too too much. Like football, you can't talk football like the way you talk the NBA. You can't just look at performances and how they, quote unquote, drop or whatever. I think it's more of a, you have to. Um, base your rankings off of talent because too many things go into what makes or breaks a quarterback and just look at how they perform. I, I will say I think Josh Allen is a bit more overrated. I don't again I don't think either one of them are. They're two of the most talented quarterbacks in the league. Of course Josh Allen has the cannon of an arm. Um really athletic. Joe Burrow is incredibly accurate. Very good pocket awareness as well. My main problem with Josh Allen with Josh Allen has always been the turnovers and spotty accuracy. Um which is why he hasn't reached like that Pat Mahomes echelon of player. Cause he has the arm talent to do it. It's just the turnovers and some of the boneheaded plays he'll make, but the talent is still top five. And I think Burrow is also like a, also a top five quarterback, top two, in my opinion, um, maybe top three, but you know, it's just kind of, it's kind of a game of who do I like more? Who do I disagree with? Or, or and what quarterback has people saying things that I disagree with the most? And that would be Josh Allen. Like when I when I hear Josh Allen's the second best quarterback in the league, I say no. The accuracy is too spotty and the decision making is too poor. But the talent I can understand, but the decision making holds me back. The accuracy a little bit too. I'll say that. All right, Kenny. <clears throat> I take Kenny. Anyways, um, like I said, I, I agree with both of you. I wouldn't necessarily say they're overrated, uh, but like I said. If I had to choose one, like I said, I'm going to have to choose Josh Allen. And the reason why I say Josh Allen is because, like, for one, we all seen, like, Joe Burrow win games and take the Bengals to the playoffs without his best receiver, which is Jamar Chase. So I've never really seen Josh Allen really take the Bills to the playoffs without his number one option is Stephon Diggs. And like I said, I'm not going to say, like, Stephon Diggs is like a, you know, Josh Allen ain't shit without Stephon Diggs, but it's like a quarterback does need like a really, really good wide receiver to be good. So I wouldn't necessarily say, you know, they're both overrated, but if I had to choose one, I think it's Josh Allen. <clears throat> Harrison? Wait, so which one's better, like Josh Allen and Joe Burrow? No, who's more overrated, Allen or Burrow? Hmm. Man, I got to do the sports talk background page because I have to think about it for a second. Mm-hmm. Damn, that's a, that's a tough one. I mean, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Josh Allen just because. When was well, did he made it farther a couple of years ago? He went to the AFC Championship. Yeah, 2020, the 2021. That was the year. That was his best year of his career. He threw like 37 touchdowns, only 10 interceptions. Correct me if I'm wrong, champ. Wasn't he like the runner-up for the MVP only behind Aaron Rodgers, who won it for the third time yeah. in his career? Yes. And not to mention, he had those rushing touchdowns as well. I mean, he almost had a mm-hmm. thousand yards. Yep. Yeah, but I'm gonna go with Josh Allen, but it's a it's a toss-up. <laughs> Dev. 
for me, I'm gonna be different. I'd say Joe Burrow because I think yes, Josh Allen has Stephon Diggs, but Joe Burrow also has Jamar Chase, T. Higgins, and Kyler Boyd. I think with Joe Burrow is like the playoff. He people over the playoff run. I think with Josh Allen, he gets a lot more criticism than Burrow. That's why I go with Burrow being a little bit more overrated because I don't see the same criticism or like when Joe Burrow has a bad game, this, that. Is it the same? He's not lit under the fire, same fire. Also, I think with Josh Allen, he has to do more with Joe Burrow with his legs, with the running, with the rushing. <laughs> so that's why I got I, I don't think Kenny notices, but he went from sports talk to Jay um, Harrison in the background. <laughs> Oh, POD, Harrison, when, it seems when, like you when have Kenny, a when with, Kenny with, took uh, uh, his uh, Laker card, that that's Jay right now. How could you do this? T- <laughs> that's what uh, Kenny uh, did uh, when he uh, took uh, his uh, Laker card. I remember, I remember a couple uh, months ago he, he took his Laker card. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. Uh, that. I don't know. That's what For me, it's Josh Allen. I think Josh Allen. Look, I think Josh Allen is top three quarterback in the NFL. You could actually make an argument. Justin Herbert is better than Josh Allen. Nah, I disagree with that. Nope. Nah. Nope. Nah, nah. I really Josh Allen. Know. Josh Allen at his best is better than Herbert at his best. Despite yeah. her, despite the flaws and the turnovers, Herbert is. Hey, I mean, I'll take the high of the highs. I'll take the high of the highs. I'll take the high of the highs with Josh Allen over the highs of the highs with Justin Herbert. He's di- Josh Allen's this generation is Brett Favre. Yeah. Okay, but champ, where would you rank Allen? Would you still have him top three? Top six. Okay, top six. give me top your top six, six quarterbacks because I know you uh, got Mahomes and Burrow in your top two. Uh, on the spot. Okay, I'm putting your ass on the spot, man. Ooh, all right. <laughs> Woo, man. Mahomes. Oh, you talking about just outright? Yeah, top six quarterbacks. Because you said. Um, shit, I can't do that right now, man. I'm drawing a blank, brother. Can I give you talk? Can you, I give you of all people? I, I can't do that right now, man. <laughs> I can't do that right now. I'm actually shocked, y'all. I'm actually shocked. None of y'all actually thought Harper might be better. But I'll give y'all mine. All right, go ahead, Dev. I got, I got you know, Jared Goff, one. I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. Mahomes. Okay, won. whoa, whoa. He was playing. He was playing. He was playing. I he was, was playing. about to switch the picture for a second. <laughs> Mahomes won. Believe it or not, I got my boy Lamar two, Burrow three, Allen four, Herbert five, six Hertz, seven. Was it? I got Lawrence, Trev. Yeah, Trev. That's my dog. Eight. I'm not ranking CJ Stroud. He's a rookie right now. I'm not gonna rank him. Five, five, fine. I'll, I'll, I'll rank him. Fine. Eight. Stroud. Nine. Good. Kyler Murray. Oh, God. Yes, Kyler's top ten. Yes. Actually, yes. no, no, no. I should take Kyler. Ain't out. no I'm, way. Am I forget? I'm forgetting my son. I forget. Not, I, forget. I came just in time, then. Wait, Brandon. I mean, a lot of them actually thought I was losing my mind when I said Justin Herbert might be better than Josh Allen. PSP, this really you saying this? Wow. <laughs> I'm shocked. Uh, I did say CJ Stroud might be better than Trevor Lawrence, and I've acknowledged that now. Shoot. I mean, I mean, Brad said CJ Stroud was better than Hurts. Hey, you ain't getting no argument out of me. But well, but you're the one who said Kyler Murray over Jalen Hurts. Hey, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's nasty. You that's nasty, Kenny. Hey, you, know, you, know, you. you know, you know, you you know, I would be. No, nasty. he's he, in fairness to Kenny, he's been consistent. He even said if you put Justin Fields with the Philadelphia Eagles roster, he would do exactly the same thing Jalen Hurts would be Ooh, doing, wait. even more. Mm-hmm. You could you could put you could put any quarterback in the Eagles system. And quarterback, and they'll succeed. Not necessarily. That doesn't. How about how about, uh, how about about Kenny Pickett? No, no. no. Okay. Uh, Brandon, who's more overrated? Oh, two, 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 oh yeah, two. I forgot two or two in the top ten. You know, okay. nine or ten. Yeah. 
Brandon, Allen or Burrow, who's more overrated? Uh, shoot, uh, I'll say Burrow. All right, my dog. 